let us see how we define tangent to a circle. So here you can see that we have a circle whose center is A and we have taken a point B on the boundary of the circle. So let us see what is the definition of a tangent. So a tangent to a circle is a straight line and it is in the same plane of the circle and it touches the circle at only one point. So we need to think of a line which touches the circle at only one point. We can take the point anywhere on the boundary. So as we have the point B on the boundary, let us try to draw the tangent now. So here we see that if we try to draw the tangent passing through the point B to this circle, we get this line. So this line is in the same plane of the circle and it touches the circle at exactly one point. Let us take one more point on the boundary of the circle. Here we have taken point C and try to draw a tangent. So we see that through this point C, we can see only one line which is touching the circle exactly at this point, right? So how do we define the tangent? Tangent to circle is a straight line in the plane of the circle and it touches the circle at only one point. Now, what do you call this particular point where the tangent is touching the circle? So this is basically called as the point of contact. So the point at which the tangent touches the circle, we call it as a point of contact and some of them call it as a point of tangency. So I hope you have understood the definition of tangent and the point of contact. Now you can see that we can have infinite number of points on the circle. So at every point, we can draw a tangent. You can take up as many points on the circle. So all these points will be the point of contact for that respective tangent. So let us see if we can draw one more tangent passing through the point I. Yes, you see that you get a unique tangent. From the point J, you get another tangent. From point H, you get another tangent. From point G, you see another tangent. So every time you notice that there is a unique tangent through this point of contact. So this is the beauty of studying geometry. You see this.